the main thesis of the book in fact is that what the constitution fails to respect is the diversity of this country. Right. I think uh, at the time of the 75th anniversary, I think Mohan Bhagwat ji, I think had one of the nicest things to say. He says India should be a role model to all other countries mm. in how to manage and handle diversity. Right. But no country in the world is as diverse as we are. Yeah. Okay. And I, it is my thesis that the constitution does not respect our diversity enough or that it is using improper measures of diversity mm -hmm. such as language and things like that. So my thesis in the book, the book should be judged on this, is that by making smaller states, you are bringing out truer measures of diversity. Right. And recently I can tell an example since I have just come back from the Kashmir Valley. How many of us know that these two plants, lavender and rose, you know, grow practically wild in the valley. Lavender especially is, is practically grows anywhere. It requires very little water. Mm. And out of these you can extract fairly easily lavender oil and rose oil, mm. right. which have an extremely high markup price in the international markets. Right. There is a small country in Southeast Europe called Bulgaria and the economy of Bulgaria, the whole country is practically dependent on rose oil alone. Okay. Hmm? I don't know how many viewers of this program would know that and I have been saying time and again over the last few years that if for example Kashmir is made into a separate state just by itself mm -hmm. without Jammu even shall we say for argument's sake. Yeah. It can beat Bulgaria in rose oil production right. and therefore our small state of Kashmir will become more significant in world economy than a whole country called Bulgaria. Right. This is what I mean when I say that smaller states can be leveraged enormously right. economically quite apart from you know handling the diversity issue. You mentioned Jharkhand. There are all sorts of other problems in Jharkhand. Mm. You have a mining mafia. Yeah. You know, you have the other state, I think, which you mentioned. Chattisgarh. Was Chattisgarh, yes. Chattisgarh, in my view and as explained in the book, is already too big. Mm. Yeah, Even the Chattisgarh is, that we have now is too big. Yeah. Because it contains geographically varied, very varied regions. Yeah. So in my plan for division of uh, mm. states, and I hope you are not going to show the map now, to no, the, no, no, no. because the map is the real <laughs> secret of the book, where I have drawn the, the, lim, the geographical limits right. for the 75 states. So even there people will see that some states have been reorganized in ways that might seem to be unfamiliar. But mm. you know, we should never be scared of the unknown in that sense. Right. And one should start debating these ideas. And so I think the problems with the small states as we have now is not the small state per se, but still that they may be not small enough or maybe for other reasons in the constitution and the loopholes there. Mm. Still corruption, violence, casteism, other things are still too important. Mm. So that no matter what you do, that state is not going to come up. But that is an issue for the government of the day to handle. Right. And for the what I would really like to see is a new constituent assembly, which I think there are already hints that, you know, that this amendments thing is cannot go on forever. Mm. Uh, the Supreme Court certainly the way it is running today, it cannot go on forever like this. There is no question about it. Right. Simple, simple backlog of cases tells you that it is not going to be possible. But yes, mm -hmm. I do feel that the 75 states and chapter 4 uh, viewers of this program uh, gives the solution in terms of 75 states of what is presently the Indian Union as a means of enhancing diversity, optimizing diversity. The example of Yugoslavia is quite relevant. Because as right. I have explained, the five or six countries from the former Yugoslavia, Bosnia, Serbia, Croatia, etc. represent the true measures of diversity there. And those nation states in that case yeah. are not going to fragment further. You know, the common objection given to 75 states is that there will be 75 chief ministers, mm. you know, with 75, you know, office cars going about and blocking <laughs> the traffic in 75 <laughs> different places. But I have also said, and an important caveat, that when you have 75 states, you must dump 
listen viewers you must dump the westminster system completely because that westminster system with the common legislature and executive is simply unsuited to us right. and this would be the best chance of going to something that looks more like the us model with a complete right. separation of legislature and executive if you are able to do that and this cannot be done with amendments yeah you can make 75 states with article 3 in the present constitution but that's not going to be enough if you simply make 75 states without separating executive and legislature completely you might as well not do it 